thank the Lord for his presence. Let's thank the Lord for the fact that he is here. He is here with us. He is here in our midst. Let's just say thank you because it's an honor. It is an honor to be in the presence of the Lord. It's an honor for him to be able to even inhabit the praises Ora of his people. Sakara we just want to say thank you, Jesus. We just Ora want to say thank you, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you will be magnified, oh Lord. That you will be glorified, oh Lord, in this place. Mandara that you will be the glory, oh Lord. You will be honored, oh Lord, and adored because you deserve it, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Tu mérites l'adoration. Tu mérites la gloire. Il n'y a point de Dieu comme toi. Sois béni au milieu de ton peuple. Nous sommes les troupeaux de ton pâturage. Qui est comme toi, Père? Tu dis la chose et la chose s'accomplit. Tu la déclares par ta bouche, Père. Mais tu l'accomplis avec ta main. Tu as la puissance d'accomplir toutes choses. Car rien n'est impossible à toi. Tu es le Dieu par toi-même. Toi, le créateur de toutes choses. Tu as créé les choses visibles et les choses invisibles. Oui, Père, tu soutiens toutes choses par ta parole puissante. Mon âme te bénit. Oh, mon âme te loue. Mon âme t'exalte. Mon âme est bénie l'éternel. Et n'oublie aucun de ses bienfaits. L'éternel est bon. L'éternel est compatissant. Là, la colère riche en bonté. C'est lui qui garde Israël. Mais sommeil il ne dort. Il ne permettra jamais que ton pied chancelle. Oh, quand je marche dans la vallée de l'ombre so de la mort, when I walk in the valley of the dead, je ne crains aucun mal. I fear no evil, car tu es avec moi. For you are with me. Ta houlette et ton bâton. Your hope voilà mon réconfort. Tu dresses devant moi une table. You place before me a table en face de mes ennemis. Before my enemies. Tu ointuiles ma tête. You anoint my head. Tu ointuiles ma tête. Et ma coupe déborde. And my oui, le bonheur et la grâce m'accompagneront. Marabaka saka zebro sondo. Zinara makuria mabo sakara basende. Alléluia, l'étoile brillante du matin. Toi, le soleil, le vent. De l'éternité à l'éternité, tu es Dieu. Oh, sois béni. Sois béni. Au milieu de ton peuple. Amongst your people, sois béni. Be blessed. Sois béni. Be blessed. Sois béni. Be blessed. Toi la rose de Saron. The, ro the, the rose of Saron. Kosele. Hallelujah. Amen. Nous te disons merci. We thank you. Merci Papa. Thank you Father. Car tu l'as déclaré dans ta parole. Because you declared in your word. Là où deux ou trois sont réunis à mon nom. Where two or three are gathered in my name. Je suis là au milieu. I am there among them. Nous saluons ta sainte présence. We salute your presence. Nous t'honorons Père éternel. We give you the honor. Tu es le Dieu suprême. You are the God. Il n'y a point de Dieu égal à toi. There is no God like you. Le seul le vrai Dieu c'est toi. The only true God is toi, you. Toi l'unique créateur. The unique creator. Oh sois béni. Be blessed. Sois béni. Be blessed. Nous te disons merci. We thank you. Pour la santé, nous te disons merci. For health, we thank you. Pour la paix, nous te disons merci. For peace, we thank you. Pour ta joie, nous te disons merci. For your joy, we thank you. Pour le bonheur, nous te disons merci. For goodness, we thank you. Pour ta grâce, nous te disons merci. For your grace, we thank you. Oui, pour ta faveur, nous te disons merci. And yes, for your favor, we thank merci, you. Papa. Thank you, Papa. Merci. Thank you. Au nom de Jésus. In Jesus name. Amen, amen. Amen. On acclame très fort pour Jésus. Let's clap very Alléluia. Hosanna Jésus. Marabaka Sakare. Baba Sakara Baba. Alléluia. Alléluia. Tu salis ton frère, tu salis ta sœur. Dis à ton frère que je vois la gloire de Dieu sur toi. Alléluia. Alléluia. Qu'on acclame très fort pour la plus belle chorale de Londres. Là maintenant. Alléluia. Ah, que le Seigneur vous bénisse. May God bless you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Dieu est bon. Dieu God est fidèle. Good. God is faithful. Amen. Amen. J'aimerais que nous fassions une chose. I would like Frère to Petit, do one thing. Brother Petit. Tu prends toutes tes histoires. Take all that you have. And 
and son. Papa, Papa Michel, je vois que le bureau n'a eu tellement. And Papa Michel also take a son. Manda la bosse que place d'abîme les aou. And your place is here. Hallelujah, Fanda one. Papa Michel, Fanda one. I would like to see you there. Amen. Amen, amen. Let's clap for the King of Kings. Let's clap for Jesus. He is the King of Kings. The King of Kings. The King of Kings. His name is Jesus. He is the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Je bénis le Seigneur pour la présence de chacun de nous. I bless the Lord for the presence of each and every one. Dieu nous a été favorable. God has been favorable. Nous sommes comptés parmi les vivants. We have been counted amongst Soyez the living. Soyez les bienvenus, mes frères. Be welcome, que le Seigneur vous bénisse. My brothers, may God amen, bless amen. you. Amen, amen. 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 Jésus est bon. God is good. Jésus est bon. God is good. Hallelujah. Sois béni, sois Be béni, blessed. sois béni. Amen. 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 Le dimanche passé, nous avions parlé de Last Sunday we spoke about Nous avions parlé de We spoke about Nous avons parlé de l'amour. Oui, bon, le fruit de l'esprit aussi parce que yes, quand on parle de l'esprit le well. on voit l'amour. Because when we speak of the fruit of the spirit, we see love. Amen. 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 Euh, Aujourd'hui, nous allons parler sur le pardon. Today we're speaking on forgiveness. Bible, oyo, to tangaka. The Bible that we read. Is that la parole de Dieu? Is hein? is the word of God. Et Bible, is that kara na biloko mi bale? And the Bible only has two things. Is that na amour? It has love. Is that na pardon? And it has forgiveness. Amen. Amen. Sans le pardon, tu crois que nous allons ici qu'à Oyoté. Without forgiveness, we would not have been here. Amen. Amen. Je m'en allie tous à la concentrer. I would like us to be concentrated. Je m'en allie vraiment tout tirer attention à Bisso. I would like us to pay full attention. Amen. Je m'en allie vraiment tout tous à la captive dans la parole de Dieu. And I would like us to be captivating to the word of God. Amen. Or be captivated. Dernier naouti koloba. And as I said. Bible is a livre ya amour. The Bible is a book of love. Dieu est amour. God is love. Et is a livre ya pardon. And it is a book of forgiveness. Parce que ceux qui osent amour te okoka kolimbi sate. Because if you do not have love, you cannot forgive. Et sans le pardon, okoki ko manifester amour te. And without forgiveness, you cannot manifest love. Amen. Donc aujourd'hui, tu vas parler sur l'amour. So today we're speaking on love. Et le passage clé que nous lirons, c'est dans le livre de Matthieu, chapitre 6, and 7 à 15. The key passage is in the book of Matthew 6, 7 to 15. Et nous lirons Matthieu 5, 23 à 24. And we will read Matthew 5, 23 to 24. Amen. Amen. Nous allons tous nous mettre debout so pour we'll lire la parole de Dieu. Stand on our feet and read the word of God. We all stand to read the word of God. Matthew 6, 7 to 15. So we will read Matthew 6, 7 to 15. And Matthew 5, 23 to 24. So we will read together in Jesus' name. 1, 2, 3. Comme les païens qui s'imaginent qu'à force de paroles, ils seront exaucés. Ne les ressemblez pas, car votre Père sait de quoi vous en avez besoin, avant que vous le lui demandiez. Voici donc comment vous devez prier. Notre Père qui est aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donnez-nous aujourd'hui notre pain quotidien. Pardonnez-nous nos offenses, comme nous aussi nous pardonnons à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Ne nous induis pas en tentation, mais délivre-nous du malin. Car c'est à toi qu'appartiennent, dans tous les siècles, le règne, la puissance et la gloire. Amen. Si vous pardonnez aux hommes leurs offenses, votre Père Céleste vous pardonnera aussi. Mais si vous ne pardonnez pas aux hommes, votre Père ne vous pardonnera pas non plus vos offenses. 
Amen. Amen. Et nous lirons, nous allons lire aussi euh, Matthieu chapitre 5. And we'll also read Matthew chapter 5. Matthieu chapitre 5, verset 23 à 24. 5, verse 23 to 24. Si donc tu présentes ton offrande à l'autel et que là tu te souviennes que ton frère a quelque chose contre toi, laisse là ton offrande devant l'autel et va d'abord te réconcilier avec ton frère. Puis viens présenter ton offrande. Amen. 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 Que le Seigneur bénisse sa parole. May the Lord bless his word. Amen. Nous pouvons nous asseoir. We may be seated. Alléluia. Dieu de toutes tes grâces, nous te bénissons, nous te disons merci. Lord of all grace, we bless you and we thank nous you. nous abandonnons entre tes saintes mains. We abandon ourselves in your Père, holy hands. toi qui nous as pardonné le premier, Father, you who forgave us first. tu as déversé ton amour dans nos cœurs. You poured your love in our hearts Afin que nous aussi, so that we also nous pour, nous faire la même chose. can do the same thing. Pardonner à nos frères, à nos sœurs. Forgiving our brothers and sisters. Seigneur, Father, Lord, nous maintenant de ton ombre. cover us in your shadow Afin que tout ce qui sortira de nous so that all that will come from us Sois l'objet de ta gloire. Be the object of your glory. Au nom puissant de Jésus. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Ninge na uti koloba. Just as I said. Sans l'amour. Without love. Tu kuri kozana nesika oyoke. We cannot be in this place. Amen. Amen. Je parle de l'amour de Dieu. I'm talking of the love of God. Parce que tu mona ki amour de Dieu. Because we saw the love of God. Na amour naturel. And natural love. L'amour de Dieu ayé na Saint Esprit. And the love of God comes through the Holy Spirit. Oyo nyonso a recevoir Jésus Christ comme Seigneur et Sauveur. Every person who has received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Azana amour de Dieu na kati na yé. Has the love of God within them. Amen. Amen. Souvent biso to opéra ka na amour naturel. A lot of the times we operate in the natural love. Na amour naturel so ki o lingi ngai ngai pe na lingi yo. In the natural love if you love me I also love you. So ki o boi ngai ngai pe na boi yo. If you do no longer want me I also no longer want you. Na amour de Dieu. But in God's love. God is saying to also love your enemies. And even pray for your enemies. That is the love of God. So the love of God does not look at in a benefit. Amen. Amen. So when we were amongst sin. The Lord loved us. Amen. Amen. Grace ya pardon. And that is because of forgiveness. Why we are here. Na amour na ye alimbi si biso. Through his love he forgave us. Pardon is a puissance o ye e liberaka. Forgiveness is a, a power that but that liberates. Amen. Amen. Bien aimé, nous ne venons pas à l'église juste pour passer le temps. So we beloved we don't come to church just to pass time. Mais tant aux oya. But when we do come and know what God is telling us and we put it into practice and that is how the world will know that we are of God. Jesus separated from his disciples and in the book of Acts of Apostles we will see that when they got to Antioch, Antioch the people who knew Jesus, when they saw the disciples, they said that these are Christians. They are Christ, Christians. Christ, Christ like, they are Christians. Amen. Amen. They are like Jesus. And that was the first time that they were referred to as Christians. Why? Because they were with Jesus. Being with Jesus, they began to speak like him. They began to act like him. They even walked like him. That is what made the difference. Amen. Amen. Na passage o tuti kotanga. In the passage that we've just read. Ezala ki na mokolo o ba disciple na Luke je crois Luke bazolo bake 
Ma disciple ma lobi na Seigneur Jésus. So in Luke I think the disciple said to Jesus. Babi Seigneur la ki sabiso monte nou kom enseigne nou koma prier. They said show us on uh, or teach us how we should pray. Comme Jean a enseigné à ses disciples. Just as John um, showed his disciples. Amen. Amen. Et na passage au totangi. And in the passage that we read. Jésus bani na koloba. Jesus began by saying. Quand vous bani ko prier, quand vous priez ne multipliez pas de paroles vaines. That when you pray, do not heap up on words. Amen. When you are praying, we can see that they were asking the Lord how they must pray. And he began saying, when you are praying, he said, do not multiply on your words like the Gentiles. Because the Gentiles think when they speak, say many words, that is how God will exalt. So if we read, it says that the Gentiles felt that if they spoke a lot, God will answer. Why did he say this? Because God hears all prayers. He even hears animals. He knows what they want or need. He does not exalt the, the sinners. Amen. Amen. He listens to prayer. In passage, in Psalm, he says, Oh, Dieu, you who listens to prayer. Psalm says, Oh Lord, you who hears prayers, toi qui écoutes la prière, you who hears prayer, tous les hommes viendront à toi. All men shall come to you. You who hears prayer, all will come to Mais you. Mais Dieu pas le méchant. But he does not exalt the the sinners, the Amen. wicked. Amen. Alors, bah, avant nous de savoir comment vous devez prier. So he began to show them how they should pray. Voici donc comment vous devez prier. And he said, this is how you must pray. Notre Père qui es aux cieux. Our Father in heaven. Que ton nom soit sanctifié. Hallowed be your name. Donc, bah, nous nous croyons que Papa n'a dit ça à Zana Nicolo. So we first begin to know that our father is in heaven. The fathers on earth who have given birth to us are just a channel to take us and deposit us in the mother and for the mother to allow us entry in the world. But in reality, our father is in heaven. So if you take God as your father, your life will not correspond to that of the earth. Know that as you are here, your father is in heaven. And when you know that your father is in heaven, what will you do? You will begin to sanctify and praise his name. You will begin to praise his name. Just as Jesus said here. And to say, your kingdom come. Allow your kingdom to come. For your reign, your kingdom to come. Come and reign here on earth. May your kingdom come. How will he his kingdom be here on earth. It will be through you and I. Because our Father is in heaven. When we come here on earth, it is in order to manifest what is in heaven and do it here. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth earth as it is in heaven. So here we see just as I said that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That God's will, uh, will be done here. Who will manifest his will here on earth? It is only his children. Say that I'm a child of God. Say again, I'm a child of God. Amen. Amen. We are children of God. 
Jesus said that they are on this earth but they are not of this earth. So you and I will manifest his glory here on earth. We must do his will here on earth as it is in heaven. And to pray and say give us our daily bread as ambassadors of Christ us as ambassadors of Christ Amen, Amen. we are ambassadors of Christ and embassy represents a country so Country to country, if you enter the embassy, you will see the things of their country. So, for example, if you go to the Congolese embassy, if you've never been to Congo, so the person who's never been to Congo, and they want to go for the first time, to receive a, to get a visa, and travel to Congo, they will go to the embassy, they will experience the life of Congo in the embassy. And for those who are able to analyze, they will know where they are going to through the embassy. If it is serious or not very. So through the embassy, they will understand where they are going. We are also ambassadors. And for them to know the news of the heaven and know what happened where our father is, they will know this through us. Amen. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread. So everything that we eat as ambassadors, it, we will depend in the heaven. Amen. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples that my food is to do the will of my father. My food is to do the will of the one who sent me. So you and I, our food is to do the will of our father. So we will depend on him. He will take care of us. Maybe you'll wake up in the morning and think, what am I going to eat today? And he said, do not worry about that. Even on what you will wear. Because your life is more important than that. And in where we are going to. Pardon nos offenses. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. That is, this is key and it's what we are going to share today. Beloved, if we are here, it is due, because of the forgiveness of God. Because God forgave us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Pardon is a puissance oyo elibelaka. Forgiveness is the power that sets us free. Amen. Amen. Ndenge na uti koloba, nu nu som les ambassadeurs de Christ. Just as I said, we are ambassadors of Christ. Soki nzambe alimbisi. If God forgives. Biso pe singe na biso tolimbisa. We must also forgive. Na passage oyo. In this passage. When I learned to, when I was learning to read the Bible, there are many passages that I did not understand, and it disturbed me. Instead of just passing through, I would read it. I would read to try and understand exactly what it was saying. Pardon nos offenses. Here it says, forgive us our debts. So for God to forgive our debts. As we will forgive others. So as we also have forgiven our debtors. And if you read in this passage. You will see that forgiveness for us. 
can never have conditions when God forgives us he does not forgive us conditionally so when we forgive it must be our life they said just as we forgive others amen Amen. so before you come and ask me for forgiveness I already forgave you amen amen and the Bible tells us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Amen. Amen. for if you forgive others their trespasses your heavenly father will also sorry but if you do sorry Read, read. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. C'est à toi qu'appartient dans tous les siècles le règne, la puissance et la gloire. Amen. Amen. Ok. Si vous oh. pardonnez aux hommes leurs offenses, Si vous pardonnez aux hommes leurs offenses, if you forgive men of their trespasses, votre Père Céleste vous pardonnera aussi. Your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. Mais, but, si vous ne pardonnez pas aux hommes, if you do not forgive, votre Père ne vous pardonnera pas non plus vos offenses. Your Father will, will not forgive your sins. Awa is a clé. Here is key. Amen. Amen. Bien aimé, na lingi vumbana lo banabiso na ebite en tokomi. Beloved, I want to tell us. I'm not sure of the time. L'heure est avancée. The time has passed. Mais na lingi na lo banabiso ya mutuya. But I want to tell us what's important. Koki ere koki na ukata. If the time arrives, then I'll Mais stop. Mais oh to koreteni. But what we will keep. To comprendre. We must understand. Limbisa biso nenge biso pe to kolimbisa kabaninga. Forgive us as we will forgive others. And here it says, if we forgive, God will also forgive us. But if you do not forgive, God will also not forgive your trespasses. Pardon is a clé. Forgiveness is key. The devil does not forgive. If we read in the Bible, we will see that he does not forgive. If he places you in his prison, he will not set you free. Except with the intervention of God. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, if you go to church and you come before God's altar and you come with your offering and you have come to give your offering just as you are about to give and you think that a back and that there's a person with that has your problem and if we read again it does not say that you think that you have a problem but or someone. But it says another person has a problem of yours. Leave your offering and go and reconcile with them. And once you reconcile, then you return and provide your offering. We see how important um, forgiveness is. You have come to give your offering. But the Holy Spirit reminds you. Mado, 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 Mado. And they say Mado. Mado, Mado, Kombo ya Mutu, Mado. Oh, Mado. Mwasi, Madeleine, Mado. A woman, Madeleine. Ke Mado has a problem na yo. That she has a problem, your problem. A offense ki yo. She uh, 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 offended you. And you know this in your heart. 
Go and reconcile with Mado. And tell Mado, as you me, as you spoke bad about me, I forgive you. That is what I've come to tell you, that I've forgiven you. Let's get on. Let's forget those problems. And once you've done so, you bring your offering. And then you give to the Lord. That is what the Bible is telling us. So, so I looked at it and thought, why is it that it's if they have a prob my problem, why would I go and ask for forgiveness? So I done you wrong. And I've come to ask for forgiveness. It could have been that way. But it's saying that they have a problem with you. So go and reconcile with them. That is what the Bible is telling us. Otherwise, do not give your offering. How many times do we give offerings in church? And we know that there are others that we hold in our hearts. Amen. Amen. Pardon is that clear? Forgiveness is key. Amen. Amen. Na Bible is that na bilogo mi bale. In the Bible, there are only two things. There are others that we can say and we can preach on. But there are only two things. The Bible draws on love and forgiveness. So if you will not love, the, uh, God says you should love the one who created. Love one another. How can you say you love God and you are refusing the one next to you? And he, he said, if you forgive, I will forgive you. And if you do not forgive, I will not forgive you. Amen. Amen. There are others that you see for them to forgive. They say, in what they've done to me, they should go and wake my mother. That if I think about it, they should wake my father. I will never forgive them. Even if I have to go to hell, I will go to hell. I will never forgive them. Because you are not a child of God. Because a child of God forgives. What is forgiveness? The word forgiveness is forgiving and forgetting. That's what we call forgiveness. If you forgive, just as others say, I've forgiven them. In all the bad that they've done, I've forgiven them. But I haven't forgotten. That is not forgiveness. Amen. Amen. That is not forgiveness. In the Hebrews, the word forgiveness is spitting. When um, a Hebrew says he's forgiven, it's as if they've taken their saliva and spat. The same way they cannot take it back is the way that they've forgiven. They've forgotten. That is forgiveness. You say you've forgiven. In, in what they did, I've forgiven them. But I have no, not forgotten. No, 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 no. no. That is not forgiveness. You are in the process. You're Me, going through the procedure. But you have not yet forgiven. You will only forgive when you've forgotten. Because there's uh, the world. And there's the, uh, God's way. So we are now taking the, the, the forgiveness of the world and we bring it to God. So we want God to use our forgiveness for him. Amen. Amen. Just like the world reacts in forgiveness, we bring it to church. It cannot work. Because here we're in a different kingdom. Amen. Amen. Yesterday I was speaking to the youth. 
I, during Bible studies, we spoke on the kingdom of God. Jésus a vendu la montagne, a vendu que le bas maintenant n'attire ya royaume. So we saw that Jesus was sat on the mountain and he ba- began speaking on the kingdom. Just as we are in this world. There are only two kingdoms. There is not three. There are only two. The kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. Amen. Amen. The kingdom of darkness um, the person who's reigning is the enemy, Satan. And the kingdom of light is Jesus Christ. He, the, um, he, is re- he reigns in the kingdom of light. So he has, he's telling us how the kingdom functions. So what he's telling us is on the kingdom. He, he said, if you do not forgive, I will not forgive you. Amen. Amen. Because with forgiveness, so you have to forgive. So our forgiveness has to be natural. It cannot be difficult for us. Because we are in going through God's, we are in God's nature. Amen. Amen. There are some people when you mention their name and you feel something in your heart and you think the person you've mentioned when I think back when I think on what they did to me if today my mother's not here if today my father's not here or if today my child is not here it is because of this person I just wait for that day I will do them bad so yes if you are in the kingdom of darkness that that is possible but when you come to God's kingdom God said forgive Whatever he's done, forgive. Amen. Amen. One day the Bible says, I will just um, go through in Matthew 18, 18, 21 to 35. The Bible says, Pierre, alors Pierre s'approcha de lui et dit, Then Peter came up and said to him, Seigneur, combien de fois pardonnerai-je à mon frère Lord, how often will, will my brother sin against me péchera contre moi? And I forgive him. Sera ce jusqu'à cette fois As many as seven times Jésus lui dit, Je ne te dis pas jusqu'à cette fois, mais jusqu'à septante fois, sept fois. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 77 yeah, times. A problem, a pardon. God, um, sorry, um, Peter yeah, had a problem, a, problem, a pardon. A problem with forgiveness. He went to ask the Lord. Because there was one person that he knew he could not forgive. But because of Jesus, he has to forgive. So he wanted to maybe say eight times. Because if he forgives seven, the eighth time he does not need to forgive. So he came to Jesus and said, do I need to forgive seven times? And Jesus said, no, I did not say seven times. But 77 times. How many times is that? Huh? 499 499 99 is it 99 Amen 539 39 539 Okay Amen 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 so if we look at that number, Donc, amen. Amen. Let's look here. Amen. Amen. Bien-aimé. Bien-aimé. 
beloved. Where do we stop? Amen. Amen. So let's just say 20 times. Someone has done you wrong. They've come to your house and taken your goods when you weren't there. They went and sold it. And they come and say, Father, all those things I took, forgive me. You have to forgive them. So they've done this seven times now. And they've come and asked for forgiveness. You cannot say you came before I forgave you. You came the second time and I forgave you. Now I should forgive you again. No. Who do you think I am? But God is telling us to forgive. Amen. Amen. When you are forgiving, you are doing like God. We have been called to act like God. When you forgive, you are acting like God. God forgives. So, beloved, I don't know if it was this morning, I, I woke up to pray and I just could not get in deep. It's as if I had something in my heart. I, be, I, I like bitterness. I begin to ask, what is it? Beloved, if we will act like God and ask children of God, we have been called to act like God. It will hurt to forgive. And just in bracket, they said, look at that person. He, uh, they raped your mother. And when they raped your mother, they, and they killed them. They killed her. The police arrested him. But they set him free. You see him. What would your reaction be like? What would your reaction be like? Reaction is like. As we are living here on earth, we cannot act like those here on earth. We have to act like God. Because if you forgive them, you have acted like God. Because God will forgive you. The Bible tells Apostle us, Paul. Apostle Paul, before we Notre called him Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul, our brother Apostle Paul, before he became our brother, he was Saul. He was a, he was a, a, oh, Saul. Parisian. He was a Pharisee. A member of the Senate. Se like uh, there was a Pharisee. So he had authority. He began to persecute the church. He began to persecute the church. The church where we are here today. You and I are the church. He began to persecute the church of God. So one day they arrested um, uh, Deacon Stephen. So the Bible said Stephen was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking. Be beginning from Genesis. How God called Abraham and to the point of Jesus. And as it angered the Pharisees, they said that they began to throw stones at Stephen. Because of Saul. So they killed Stephen. They began throwing stones at him. When Stephen was about to die, he said, Lord, do not uh, tell them of this, this sin. Forgive them. Forgive them. He said, Lord, forgive them. What they have done to me, do not mention. Apostle Paul or Saul was there. 
If Stephen did not want to forgive, we, you and I would not have known Brother Paul. Amen. Amen. But Apostle Paul was, was killing. He did not end there, but he went on to kill others. So only God's intervention, Jesus' intervention. Just as he went, no one stopped him. But Jesus himself intervened. He said, why are you fighting me? He said, go on and they will show you what you must do. So today we know Apostle Paul as just that. He was a murderer. But God forgave him. Jesus forgave him. Amen. Amen. Jesus forgave him. So today we know Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul, our brother. So now Jesus has forgiven him. So now you, on your side, Stephen forgave. So you, that person, because of what they did, you said you will not forgive. There are some fathers who weren't great. That have abused their children. There is a servant of, of God, Joyce Mayer. Her father abused her. But when she came and understood the love of God, she said, I forgive my father. To get to the stage of forgiveness, she began to speak about it. I forgave my father. I forgave my father. She forgave. Beloved, forgiveness is key. If there is a person that you have not forgiven, that person is in the prison of your heart. So it is difficult for that person to receive life. Because you have kept them in the prison of your heart. That person will be liberated the day that you will forgive them. So when you forgive them, because they've left your prison, they've left your heart, God will visit your heart. Because when that person was in your heart, God could not forgive, uh, visit your, your heart. He could not dwell in your heart. We say a lot of, a lot of the times you've received um, Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You are saved. But the Bible says here, if you do not forgive, who will not forgive you? God. So now God says he hasn't forgiven me. But you're saying that God's forgiven me. No. He said, no, before I forgive you, forgive them. Amen. Amen. In the passage that we're reading, Matthew 18, 21, 21, I just want to tell this story. There was a man who owed a lot of money to his master. So the master said, you need to pay up. And if you do not, your wife and your children will go into prison until the day you will pay up my debt. And he began to ask, he began to ask the master to forgive him and give him the opportunity to get the money and pay. So the master looked and how he cried. And he said, okay, I'm forgiving you. But don't think about the debt. You see forgiveness. He said, don't worry about it. I've forgiven you. So this man forgave. So when he left his master, he also met someone who owed him. 
And he said, today, you will pay. My money, you will pay. So the same way he cried, the person cried. And he said, give me the chance. I will pay. But I do not have it right now. And he said, since you don't have it, I'm going to put you in prison. And he prayed. Place him in a in a prison. And the people who were there, they saw what happened. And they came back to the master and said, "The person who you forgave, just as you, the one you just forgiven, he has met someone who owed him as well." And the person said, forgive me. And he refused to forgive. And he put the person in prison. And the master said, call him and, and tell him to come. And he said, I forgave you. So why could you not forgive the other? Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, my prayer is a fact. I, I know that it's a it's a phase. Oh, it's difficult. Sorry. It's a pass. I know that it's difficult to forgive. I cannot say because I'm standing here. I forgive and forgive. The things that I about me is you can do me something of a great a great level. And I'm easy to forgive on that. But the little things. The little things are the ones that are the most difficult. Because you must know. So I always pray. Lord, allow me to be a forgiving person. So another, a good thing is. So if you are coming to ask for forgiveness. When you are coming to ask for forgiveness. Just know that I will definitely forgive you. Be sure that I will forgive you because I pray on that. Because, beloved, let's not close. What did you say? Oh, let, let's not diminish the Bible. Let's not. Um, what is written is written. God said, if you do not forgive, I will not forgive you. This person ended up in prison because he could not forgive. And they told him, you, now, you will now pay everything that you owe. And he returned to prison. So when we say prison, where is it? Where is it? You will end up in hell. Why? Because you do not know how to forgive. Pardon. Forgiveness. It's a, a power that sets free. We must be able to, to forgive. Forgive as I forgive others. So the passage is saying, I also forgive. Father, forgive me as I also forgive. So if you do not forgive, Amen. Amen. The Bible says, now, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. In Ephesians 4, verse 32. Be kind to one another. Tender hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. As God in Christ forgave you. Be kind to one another. Is that a facility? There is. Is that a lot of money? But Christians, is that a facility? I call him Mr. Bapaye. So today I see that Christians have ease to forgive the non-believers. But if a pastor does wrong, he knows the word. He could not do this. Why has he done it? We have difficulty in, in forgiving Christians. I'm not saying this for pastors. 
But I'm saying that the fights that pastors have, they need our support. Amen. Amen. You are not praying for your pastor. So maybe the pastor has, is now weak. You have to pray for him. But you are looking and saying when they fall, the day that they will fall. So if a Gentile falls on the same issue, and they already have those things, but in, for them we tolerate. But if a pastor or a children of God falls on that same thing, beloved, the, 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 the devil is a liar. He knows how he can enter the church and uh, manipulate the children of God. But the Bible says that forgive, uh, forgive one another. One another. Forgive me so I can also forgive you. We must have forgiveness forgiveness in us. So the Bible is telling us in Genesis 15 to 21. Here is the story of Joseph. Joseph, un jour, il était avec ses frères. One day, Joseph was with his brothers. His father sent him to go and visit his brothers. And as he went on to meet them, they said the, the dream, dreamer is here. We will kill him. We must kill him. And another said, why should we kill him? We should throw him in this hole. Then we will um, kill an animal and place blood on his clothes and show the father that he has died. So when he saw the man disturbed he said, let's just sell him or let him go and die wherever. Beloved, that scene, I like to see it as a cartoon. So I'm looking in cartoon, the, the film of Joseph. So they show the image that he was at or the state when he was begging his brothers. He said, you are my brothers. You cannot do this to me. I'm one of you. And they were looking at him, saying that you would see where you would bring your tithe. And they sold Joseph. And with his sad eyes, he's, he was looking on at his brothers doing this to him. And they sent him to Egypt. And in Egypt, he knew no one. And he went to prison. And in prison, he went to a pa palace. He interpreted Pharaoh's dream. And they uh, took him on. And then one day, he met his brothers. They came to him. And when he saw them, Joseph said, Joseph said, these are my brothers. The ones that sold me. And at the end, in 50, when their father died, his brother saw the, the wrongness that they did. Joseph said, so they said, let us tell Joseph that our father said to forgive your brothers. Beloved, they came to Joseph and they said, your father said that you must forgive us. All that we did, forgive us. When Joseph looked at them, he cried. He said, I already forgave you. I am your brother. Beloved, I want to say one thing. You must always glorify the Lord. Somebody else can kill your mother. So, God has seen. He knows. But sometimes, 
as they've killed your mother. Et ça pour un jour. It is for one day. Et l'eau comme quoi malade, ça malade, bon malade. That something good will happen in your life. So I want to give an example. That mother is the mother who birthed you. She loves you. But something is going to happen to that mother. She hasn't yet thought about it. But that thing will come to them. And when it will happen, she will think of you. She will make sure you have the problem. You will have that problem. Or she will be, uh, betray you. So maybe that problem will lead you to death. So your mother, as she is here, she is good. And she truly loves you. Because the problem has not yet arrived. So as she, when she gets to there, God looks and says, allow her to go. For your good. And you cry and say your mother's gone. Why did you allow this God? And God said I'm keeping her here. Because at this time I'm taking her because she is mine. Because if she reaches here, she will not remain mine. What she will do will touch you and you will leave me. I do not want to lose the both of you. That's why I've taken her when she's arrived to this point. That is how God reacts. Sometimes you'll see something happen. God is always right. Because he sees all. He knows all. He will allow that you cry with pain. But if she, he shows you, you will say, God, you are good. It's true, you are good. You allowed. Joseph, when Joseph spoke on it, he said, God allowed you to sell me. So that when I arrive here, I will save you. So during that time, that they were doing the Joseph. There was a day where there was going to be suffering in the whole world. And Joseph had to be in Egypt to save his brother. So what if they told Joseph they would sell him and go to Egypt, will he, will he have accepted? Reuben wanted to free Joseph. Amen. Amen. Look at how Reuben, God works. Reuben wanted to, to save Joseph. Joseph. When they threw him in the Reuben, hole, he wanted to come and take him out and allow him to escape back to his father. If we read, you'll see that uh, Reuben who made Reuben move, uh, go elsewhere. Because when Reuben returned, he found no one there. So the thought that he had, God removed him for his plan to be accomplished. So Joseph said, you thought that you would do me wrong. But God turned it into a positive. Amen. Amen. The person who you think has done you wrong and you are saying you will not forgive them. Maybe they have helped you in prayer. They, they want to elevate your prayer moment with God. Because if they do not shake you, you will still you will just remain there. And when that problem will come, you will say, God, do it. God, do not leave me. When you are praying, the fire is increasing. Your enemies who wanted to do you wrong, when they come and find you in prayer, they will, they will be unable to touch you. Why? Because of your enemy. The one who did you wrong. Are they your enemy? 
Jésus a dit à Judas et a dit, mon frère. Judas went to sell Jesus, Jesus ami. but he called him my friend. Why? Because he's accomplishing the will of God through Jesus. Amen. Amen. In Luke 23, Jesus on the cross, he said, Father, Luke 23, 33, 34. He said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. During suffering. Oh, this thing, I cannot forgive them. When it is hot in your heart. When it is stopping you from sleeping. He, she took your husband. He, he took your wife. Your good friend. You have received the news. So now God is asking you to pray for them. Pray for them. Frère, so one day I went to, I mean, yesterday I was at a place doing my hair. So there's a story who someone had already told me. He saw the person. He said, the story I told you, there's the person. The person lives here. His wife went to Africa. And she went to Africa and she cheated. And she became pregnant. <laughs> so the woman returned and the, the husband wanted to forgive her. And he said, so we must just divorce. But I forgive you. So the brother asked me, would you forgive? <laughs> Beloved. Would you forgive? Amen. Amen. I want to end there. Would you forgive? Amen. So, beloved, as a child of God, who's filled with the Holy Spirit, forgive. It will hurt. It will be difficult. My principles are, if I will be unable to, I will not forgive you. I will so I will forgive and say you can go because, because with infertility because I have not yet reached that place I'm not saying it for me because I know it would not happen Amen. Amen but if you forgive forget so do not forgive and then tomorrow you say do you, do you know Amen. Amen. When it's time to forgive, you must forgive. You cannot try and get into that you remember no, what you happened. That is not a child of God. That is what is showing we are children of God. Because we must act like God. He does not remind us of our sins. I only give a little bit of my life. Sometimes I say just thank you. God. Because I had two lives. Amen. So people will look at me and think I'm sensible and calm. That he was just like uh, jo I was just like Jonathan. If you see my son, you see he's innocent. I, I grew like that. But I was on my own. Oh. I did not like people knowing my business. So that if I go somewhere with you, you might say something of mine. But I've done a lot of bad things. What they call dirty things. But God forgave me. Hallelujah. Amen. God forgave me. You're looking at me like that. God forgave me.
pray and say, I've already forgiven them. He's my brother, I've forgiven them. He's my brother, I've forgiven them. He's my sister, I've forgiven them. Let me love them. I forgive them. <laughs> and I bring you down. I will not love you as I did. No. We are not na- naive. So everything is in prayer, and I'm saying this for the children of God. So what they did to me, maybe they did this if they were weak in prayer. But if they ask for forgiveness, I will forgive them. I will not look at them and say, you know, I've forgiven you, but because then when you begin to pray for them, so the love will, gr- will, show, will make you see them differently. And your prayer will help them in understanding that they also did you wrong. And to understand that we are children of God. What we did. What you did to me. What I did to you. Let's forget it. Amen. Amen. Let's forgive. Open up our hearts. Oh, because they live far. In the prayer that we will do now, open the door of your heart. Let them out. Let them out. Say, Lord, I have let them out. Even one day if we meet. Beloved, I met with this brother. We were enemies in primary school. I used to pick on them. And they said, from today, don't speak to me again. So at the end of the year, we separated and never spoke. And one day I was sat at and I saw them pass. And I called them neighbor. And I hugged them. And I looked at the way they looked at me like they had forgotten. In my heart, beloved, Forgiveness isn't very strong. It's just grace. But I try. In those the little ones that I for, I should forgive. Let it be our prayer. Because we do not know tomorrow. Amen. Amen. We do not know tomorrow. So begin to pray today for what will come tomorrow. Do not lead, be led in temptation. Ne nous pas en tentation. Do not lead us into temptation. Ne délivre nous du mal. But deliver us from evil. So in all things, the devil, the devil is behind it. We must have the heart of Jesus. That is why he gave us the fruit. We cannot do it with nat- in natural love. But with the love of God, we have that fruit. Say, I will be able. I will forgive my br- brother. Maybe your mom. So there are many who send money to Africa and they, they just take their money and don't build their home. Will you forgive them? Because you are a ch- child of God. So if we go back into it, why did um, God allow this to happen to you? That's why you will say, God, I've forgiven them. You knew and you allowed it. That's why I turn to you. Do with me what you like. Because maybe there could have been a problem in that place. But but God wants your eyes to remove from there and go there. Because they knew that if that didn't happen, you would not go there. God is God. Who believes what I'm saying? So let us all rise.
Forgive. Back to the prayer, back to the prayer. Forgive your brother, forgive your sister. Even if it comes in whatever way, forgive. It is difficult. Forgive your enemy. Jesus said, he called Judah my, my friend. Beloved, we raise our hands. Say, Lord, help my heart to open up in what I've kept in my heart I haven't forgiven them I ask for forgiveness I ask that you forgive we begin to pray Si cabro sondo rama seke Seigneur limbisa Mote mananga efunga mankolo Lord forgive my let my heart Mote mananga efunga mankolo Allow my heart to open up Mote mananga efunga mankolo Let my heart Ma raba ka seke Oh rama ma bo sokoro bo sinde Mote mananga efunga ma Allow my heart to open up Yawe mote mananga efunga ma Oh Lord my Na limbisa member enemy na ngai Na limbisa member enemy na ngai Na oyo no so selanga mabe kolo Na ko ka ko limbisa e Mara ba ka saka Ze ma bro sokoro bo ko sende Ze ma bro sokoro bo ko sende Pardon Seigneur Pardon Seigneur Forgive Lord Pardon Forgive. Pardon, Seigneur. Pardon, Seigneur. Allow me to be able to forgive. You forgive. You forgive me. When I was sinning, you forgave me. When I was sinning, you forgave me. I'm granted All that done wrong. Maybe I forgot. 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 Maybe I Ze macabro socorro bosinde. Pardon, Seigneur. Pardon, Seigneur. Pardon, Seigneur. Au nom puissant de Jésus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 I, I want us to hold one another by hand. Pray for your brother, pray for your sister. Pray for your brother, pray for your sister. Pray for your brother, pray for your Pray for your brother, pray for your sister. Seigneur éternel, j'ai pris pour ma sœur. Me cabro socorro boko sende. Ze mama bo socorro bo sende. Ya baka saka. Si cabro sonde. Seigneur éternel. Namote mananga y pardon. Namote mananga y pardon. Namote mananga y pardon. Ma sakara bo sende. Oh hallelujah. Au nom puissant de Jésus. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Nous pouvons nous asseoir dans sa présence. We may présence. be seated in His presence. Amen. Amen. Merci Seigneur. Amen. Amen. Nous allons donner à notre Dieu. We will give to our Lord. There's one thing that I'd like to say. Whilst we're preparing our offering. Many forgive but cannot forgive.